So this is the second year in a row where a female directed film with a with female uh, centric sort of plot has opened the festival. How does that make you feel? Makes me feel great. I think it's a really exciting time for women in film. I think we finally reached the tipping point and people are accepting that women's stories are important and fun and interesting and it's time for them to be told and I think it's exciting. And um, can you talk a little, you have a background in sort of like <laughs> acting, writing, can you talk about how you worked with a cast of su some of uh, whom were non-professionals? Yeah, most of my actors were actually professionals. Um, so I actually worked, yes, but some of the teens, it was their first time, but most of them really were wanting to be actors. Um, you know, I worked in a pretty kind of traditional ways, kind of like the way I learned to work in theater. So we rehearsed and we talked through dialogue and we did table work and then we got up on our feet and it was really kind of, I love actors, I love working with actors, it's my favorite thing about directing. Um, and so I felt like I just had an incredible cast who was really down to play and to go deep and to explore the deepest, darkest parts of their characters. So I, I tried to just set up a space that was comfortable for them where we could really play and go deep. So, And it's obviously the subject matter, female <laughs> sexuality, teenage girl sexuality is very sort of, I wouldn't say taboo, but not really talked about. Can you sort of, was that what drew you originally to the project? Yeah, definitely. I think there we have a fear of teenage girls in this country, a particular fear of teenage female sexuality. Um, so when I read this graphic novel, I felt immediately drawn to it and drawn to the character because I felt like we're starved for these stories. Um, and it was the most honest portrayal of a teenage girl I had ever come across. And it just excited me because of that. Thank you so much. Thank you. So this is the second year in a row where there has been a female opening, uh, a female directed film, female centered film, opening new directors, new films. And how does that feel for you to have your, you know, sort of be a part of this progressive sort of like giving female filmmakers a voice? Uh, I think it's great. I mean, I think that was something really important in the making of my film. It's uh, centered around female characters, but it's also um, maybe not necessarily like a message film about that. So I think it's really nice. I mean, I haven't seen Die Every Teenage Girl yet, but uh, I'm, it's great. It's great. I'm very happy. And um, coming off of Sundance, is it really exciting to have your film play here? Well, I was at Slamdance. Slamdance. <laughs> no, my boyfriend had film at Slamdance. Yeah, no, no, it's great. Uh, yeah, it's a totally different experience. It's been good. I showed it at Slamdance, and then Rotterdam was completely different. So this is, it, it's great to show it in New York as well. And um, are you look? Is there anything in particular you're looking forward to seeing as part of the festival? Or yeah, I have a lot of friends who have films playing here, so it'll be nice to see them. Um, I also met some people in Rotterdam that have films playing here, so it'll be great to see. Everything. I don't know. I hope to go to a bunch of them. And um, my last question is, uh, so you shot this on Super 16. Um, what was that? Why did you make that choice? And do you feel like you'll shoot something else in 16? Or is it, it, you know, is it just something you wanted to do at least once while there's still the option? Uh, we always try to shoot on film as much as possible. It's getting harder and harder. Um, but I, I mean, I hope to continue doing it. I think it added a lot of warmth and depth to the film. I think uh, the film is very place specific and I think that that helped show it in a, a certain way. I don't know, I think it's nice. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. How does it feel to have your film play here? Um, it's, uh, it's great. There's not really, I mean, for a short film, it's kind of like an ideal festival when you're when you're uh, when you're doing something offbeat, when you're doing something off the beaten track, so it's kind of like the top, and uh, so it feels nothing but great. It's really a total honor, and the films that are here are like incredible. So, and I guess um, it's sort of hard to be a, a shorts filmmaker sometimes because it's it's sort of the traditional step to a feature, but then they're increasingly. Show, finding a place for them is sort of hard. Can you talk about that a little bit? I mean, you know, I, uh, I'm, I, I'm not normally a shorts director, so it was kind of, uh, it came 
from being really frustrated and not being able to do something big. So I just did something small and I didn't really follow any rules and uh, in the end I guess it worked out. Cool. Thanks a lot. Yep. Thanks a lot. First question, what drew you to this project? Because it's uh, originally um, a graphic novel that's been adapted into a wonderful Certainly film. Certainly the fact that it's a novel. I, I love telling stories that really paint a picture from A to Z and, you know, to go on this journey with these characters and, they, you know, they, they all existed in real life and to be able to portray someone that actually was alive and uh, to bring them to life was really exciting for me. And um, so this is the second year in a row where there's been a um, female-directed, female-centric film as opening night, which, uh, so yeah, so how does that feel? I mean, it's, it's definitely exciting. I, it seems like there's unfortunately a shortage of female directors and it's always an issue. So it's, I, I, it's one of the reasons that I also wanted to be part of the project is Marielle Heller is just a wonderful filmmaker and I really wanted to work with her. Yeah. And um, I guess, uh, how does it feel to be sort of like in New York debate, debuting it, showing it with, you know, Film Society, MoMA, etc.? I mean, it's incredibly exciting. I love the MoMA. I come here myself all the time because I'm a New Yorker and to be able to screen a film here that you're proud of and are invested in is just a real gift. Thank you so much. So, how does it feel to come here after having a success at Cannes? Always exciting. New York is New York, as all we know. So, I'm very, very curious how is the film received later on. And can you talk about um, working, because there's an old saying, don't work with uh, animals or children, and your film has both of them. I mean, it was really a great experience. In one hand, it was very difficult, mostly to find the right persons and the right animals and believe equality from the beginning till the end. And at the end, it was like a therapy. So I learned a lot of patience. And, um, and yes, if you can cooperate, then, then it works. And it was really amazing to work with 250 dogs, to be honest. And um, I guess, final question, um, what are your next plans? I'm work on. What's that? I'm working on. So I'm almost finishing my new script of mine, and we'll see. The tough part is coming, financing. Yes. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. So how does it feel to have your film play here as part of NDNF? Oh, I mean, it's a, it's a dream, literally, you know, um, the MoMA. I mean, I've been coming here all my life, seeing films here, and it's my first feature. So to have it here is just kind of, it's pretty surreal. Um, and I guess, what was your, was there, any, was there any point where you considered shooting on digital, or? Well, um, yeah, we considered doing it until we shot a test roll of uh, Super 16, and then after we saw that test roll, it was like, we, just, whatever we have to do to shoot on film, we have to do. And can you talk about working with Sean Price Williams? Yeah. Um, Sean, I've known Sean for a while now. We used to work in documentaries together. So he was the first person attached actually years before the script is even finished. Um, and he's fantastic to shoot with. He's, um, he can work so minimally and just the, what he brings to films is just really incredible. So. And um, I guess, do you have any plans after this or do you know if there are any sort of like um, rumblings of this getting distribution? Yeah, we have uh, sales agents that are kind of on the on the case right now, and hopefully in the next few months there'll be some good news. But we're just playing a lot of festivals and just enjoying it while we can. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you. How excited are you to be here after the big sort of like um, buzz at Sundance? Um, I'm really excited. I wasn't at Sundance. I was at school, so this is my first time seeing the movie all the way through. My first time seeing Mari since like we filmed. So I'm super excited to see everything. This has gotten like so much hype about it, just the film society in general. So that's exciting to see as well, just how everything will pan out. And um, how did you prepare for your role? Are you sort of also kind of a wild child? Oh, or? Yeah, I kind of like start, Minnie's character kind of is a little bit shyer and I just go right into it. I'm always talking about what and who I've been with that recently. Um, I guess preparing wise, I didn't really prepare as a method actress. I didn't hit that route. I think I just like really talked to Mari and Belle a lot about um, Kimmy, my character, is so not who I am. I'm fairly reserved. Uh, I'm really shy about all of that stuff. So just like saying all the lines as loud as I could and just getting comfortable with everything was how I felt more connected to Kimmy than any other way.
And um, how, so this is the second year in a row where um, New Directors has opened with a female-directed film, female-centered <laughs> film. How does that feel? That feels incredible. I mean, just getting the feedback of like what it means to have this film about like female sexuality and being a teenage girl. I mean, like growing up, it's very much like a Cinderella story is what we should expect. And I think having Mari's voice put into that, like Mari's like gone through her own like teenage years and is now an adult and I think she really can take a perspective on that and then Belle and I both being like the youngest girls on set for most of the time that also really helps I mean like I I'm coming out of my teen years like just now and so like having Mari it was kind of like having a big sister type figure and I think she really puts that spin into the movie and Belle does a great job as well. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. It is an absolute honor, and it is so thrilling. Um, New York City and the modern art is kind of always on the forefront of the new artistic endeavors. So to be a part of that community of new, innovative, creative thinkers and filmmakers, it's a wonderful, wonderful experience. And um, are you? How did you prepare for your role? Um. Well, uh, I think I spent. Um, a little bit of time or quite a bit of time being a little bit of a weirdo and on the outside um, of the cool circle which um, both myself and uh, the main actress Belle Pally who will be playing Minnie the lead character we're kind of marginals in a, um, a little bit of a richer wealthier school so I think just kind of tapping into the weirdness and the exciting ability to kind of be a unique individual and be okay with that yeah Thank you so much. So I'm going to keep it short and sweet. Uh, what is so? How excited are you to be here uh, tonight, sh showing your film as part of, or being shown as part of New Director? I don't think I could be more excited. These, my film is being shown in my favorite movie theaters in New York City, the Walter Reed and Titus One. I was an usher at the Walter Reed many, many summers ago. I've seen hundreds of movies in these theaters. It's a tremendous honor. And um, uh, can you talk about the transition, or do you, how do you feel your criticism and work with like Kaye's or with us interacts with uh, your filmmaking, if if at all? Well, it's certainly not a transition because the two things are parallel. Um, it's I mean, it's just about film being a formative art form to me, and whether I'm watching as someone who's going to write about film, and I prefer to appreciate film rather than criticize. I prefer to like film rather than dislike film, whatever possible, though I have my passions from time to time. So it, it's all of a piece, I think. And um, I guess, are any of your actors here, are you ex sort of excited to, have you, has this, this is screened before audiences before, or? This is the world premiere, and I've never been in a room with more than two people at a time watching it, so this is. Is it scary? <laughs> I think it will be scary. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Violet. Nice yep. to meet you. Yeah, no worries. Of course. Yeah, it's very exciting. It's the first time I've actually shown a film in the U.S. and I'm an American, so it's especially exciting to have it at the Film Society in MoMA. Um, you, um, it was on the, it was on Film Comments list of uh, best undistributed films last year. Um, have you gotten anything? Uh, has there been any buzz since? That since it's been going to show it, new directors or no? Uh, well, I feel like there's a little bit of buzz right now. It's not actually showing until next week, so uh, we'll see what happens. But it would be great to have a distribution. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, and I guess, um, do you feel like it fits with the overall theme of the festival, or do you have a sense? Have you seen any I've of these seen, other films? I've seen two films in the festival, Mercurial and The Kindergarten Teacher. And I'm really big fans of both of these films, especially Nadav Lapid's film, The Kindergarten Teacher is like an amazing film. So um, if the rest of the films are as good as these films, it's like a great selection. I'm, I'm really honored just to be with these two films that I do know, so uh, yeah. Right, cool. And do you have anything else um, in the pipeline right now, or are you just sort of enjoying, you're traveling with us? Yeah, I've actually, I've actually written a film that I hope to shoot in the U.S., so I'm kind of looking for a producer for this film at this time. So. Okay. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> All right. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks a lot. Okay. How are you? Okay.